All right, everybody, welcome back again. Here we go. This is a client of mine, repeat customer. I've done stuff for him in the past. He moved several states away. Text me not too long ago, said, hey, I got another job. Can I ship it to you? I'm like, yeah, no problem. And this is how it came in. I'm actually surprised the side covers didn't fall out some kind of hole off the side. So that being said, I had to go ahead and inspect everything, look it over, text them, make sure I had three pieces, and kind of go from there. And I do take pictures of the damage or the wear and tear of the bike before I get started, just to let them know the condition was when I got it. So anyway, old stickers like this, take them, heat them up a little bit, make sure the glue gets a little loose so I can peel it off. Take a little bit of um, goo gone, I guess you could call it, and put it on there, let it sit for a few minutes and lightly scrape it off, you know, take it easy and wipe it down. Good for the next thing. Now these little side pieces right here, they're like a rubberized version. They don't come off very well. And also the older they get, the more they just kind of turn into, I don't know, something that's just a pain in the butt to get off. A lot of people just actually paint right over it. You can damage these areas and sometimes the paint can come off and I did both of those, so yay. This is clear dust, totally normal. After you clean it all up, tape it up and start getting ready for the art. The client gave me a few references of buffaloes that he really liked, so I kind of used the main one that he gave me and then found some other ones. And then just went ahead and took Procreate and kind of manipulated a little bit. Made an image I wanted, got it up to size, kind of did a quick template. You know, kind of blocked in my colors so I have a puzzle piece of know where I'm going, my highlights, my shadows, and from there I just start filling it in and airbrushing. A little cheap trick, just take a piece of paper and just rip it apart, kind of give it a weird mountainy look and spray through it, kind of get a basic line of a mountain range and just start detailing it. Just go back and forth, give it some detail, not too much because they're supposed to be really far away. And then right here, I just kind of dust over the whole thing with a little bit of white. That's to kind of give it some atmosphere because you don't really see every detail, you know, 20 miles away from a mountain. And the opposite, for the buffalo, they're right in front of your face, so I'm giving them lots of detail. I'm coming in with a crappy brush. I'm just kind of slapping it in there, going back and forth. To me, you're not supposed to see every hair. You're supposed to see some kind of highlights, maybe the eyeball, maybe the horns, sometimes a snout, and some of the tuft of the hair on the face. And with the snow, you know, it's not just like the stars, a bunch of little specks all over the place. Not perfect, out of focus, large, small. And then right before I unpeel it, I do a dusting of black along the edge of the stripe, so it looks like the paint job is going behind the stripe a little bit. All right, on to the side covers, here we go. Don't really measure it up, I just use the tape as a measurement because it got, you know, three quarter inch tape and two inch tape. Then I go ahead and paper all up and dust some white on there over the whole thing. Then I look at my reference and realize, oops, I screwed up. So I untape it, sand it down a little bit, might as well put some shadows on, and then get out some pinking shears and do a nice little cut. I'm not trying to make it perfect, so each little up and down maybe not be perfect, that's okay. It's gonna look hand done. Lay it all the way around, tape it all up, dust some white on top of it. And I went to go ahead and move it and just drag one right into the other. Scuff it all up with some 600, dust a little bit more, fix my mistake. Then I go ahead and get some vinyl cut, spray it, unpeel it. All right, it's nice and shiny and new, so I'll go ahead and take a little bit of black and dust over it. And then I take some gray scotch bright rough it up didn't like it so I went ahead and took a little bit of brown same from the buffalo and did the same thing again I'm trying to make it look like it's a little weathered so it's not perfect and brand new yeah I think I did okay job before I clear it I kind of look over the whole thing touch up my edges make sure everything's right get some clear out and spray it now being that this is a used parts there's chips all in it, so I kind of get to do ahead a little bit of blue touch-ups here and there, 
I did the best I could for them. I mean, it is a 20 year old paint job from the factory and I'm making these parts look brand new. All right, so it's all done. I am definitely not shipping this back. This guy lives in Georgia and I was heading on down to Florida. And uh, so I just met him at um, Savannah Harley Davidson off the 95 and let him pick it up. So here's a few pictures of it together. It looks good, everyone's happy. Then he texted me about four months later, basically towards the end of the summer. Bike's completely destroyed, caught on fire, tipped over, scratched all the hell. So basically that fairing's a wall hanger now in his garage. So that bike was cursed from the beginning. All right, everybody. Like, follow, and all that other stuff. Later.